Well, welcome back, my friends, all to another rousing rendition. Listen, we are doing the Forester today. The orange is Scandy Ground. The green is Sabre Ground, both designed by Alex from Aurora Borealis Knives, made by Work Tough Gear. Before we jump into this video, we all have heard now about the, the earthquake that shook Taiwan. Many of you, a lot of you, have asked me about Vic Lynn. I talked to Mr. Vic very briefly last night through Messenger. He and his family are okay, thank God. No damage, he said it was wild. So I just wanted to pass that on to you. Vic's doing good, thank God for that. His family's okay, and I hope they continue to be now. Let's test this shit out. Love y'all, let's get with it. Well, thank you, Scab. I appreciate that, son. Standing out there in the rain for us and taking it for a team. Being a champ, the champ that you are. A lesser knife reviewer would have just gave up, but not you. Guys, this is the Forester from Work Tough Gear. And like I said there in the opening, and in case you're wondering, yes, I'm the same per person that's in the video. The orange handle is a Scandi Grind or Scandi Ground knife. The green handle is Saber Grind. Let me go ahead and tell you this, guys. I prefer, it's just my personal preference, a saber ground knife. I'm more comfortable with that, if you want the honest to God truth, and it fits what I do more. Now, I understand and I realize that each grind is task specific. I get it, I really do. It's like understanding blade geometry figures into sharpness. Uh, that's just part of it, right? So. I didn't want to do this as a versus um, because it's not really a versus. I wanted to take both knives, cut a bunch of shit up like we do now. I don't stab a tire. I don't throw it at the stump. Um, I didn't do a tip test as far as like toughness goes. What I thought I would do since I prefer the saber grind is this. I thought tonight I'll go ahead and hone them back up, strop them, get them ready, and maybe in the next week or so I'll do another review with the Forester with the Scandi Grind. Now, I'm saying the Scandi Grind on purpose. I'm not as comfortable with that, so I'd like to get a few more reps in with that. And it doesn't hurt to get out of your comfort zone. There's that Scandi Grind there. One of Alex's attributes, or one of his like telltale signs is that hidden lanyard hole. And I'll tell you why I like the way they hide the lanyard hole on these, well, on any of Alex's designs. And let me, let me just take a step back here. Alex from Aurora Borealis is one of the best knife designers in the world, in my opinion. And it's more than my opinion, but that's all I can speak to. And I'm going to cover with you, or try to cover with you, if I don't get off topic, why I feel that way. There's a couple of reasons. One is his handles. Now, the handle length on this is around, I think, five inches right there. And that's the scales. Maybe a little shorter, but right at that. The inner grip, where your knuckles go, which for me is very important, is four and an eighth. Most hands, that'll fit 90-something percent of the world's hands. But here's the little nuance. Here's where the experience in designing comes in. The, the, the thickness, if you will, the thickness of this handle is 7 eighths. So you've got a thicker handle. It's not huge. It's not big. It's the right side, you got a little bit thicker, is a good way to put it, and I believe these are G10 handle scales. So, even if your hand's a little bit bigger, you say, Scale, I got a bigger hand than four and an eighth, and some people do, I understand that. That's where that seven eighths comes in, and you've got something that you can grip, you can get all your four fingers on there, and you're comfortable, and you can work the knife just like you need to. And, and let, me, let me tell y'all something. Don't discount that. The other thing that I think makes Alex one of the best in the world, and, and here's why I'm saying it, okay? His knives are easy to use, and we're gonna discuss that in a minute. They're comfortable to use, and they, they cover a wide variety of tasks. 
So you can take one of Alex's knives, whether it's this one, whether it's the Wolverine, the Kodiak, the Mountain Man, the Grizzly, whatever. Whatever. You can take one of his designs, pick it up, and go to work. And here's the thing, guys. I, I'm a big proponent of using your knives and things like that. But the thing with Alex's designs, he makes the, the, the handles the right size. It's just a basic knife that you can use. And if I can control a knife, right if i can control the knife if my hand is comfortable if my hand if the handle is comfortable in my hand and i can get any grip i want and it's got the two indentions at the top of the handle scale so you can pinch it if i can do that i can do whatever i'm just going to be honest with you i've i've gotten to a point in a place now where i've used the knife enough that i know if the handle is spot on and this one is i'm okay right now there are other factors sure but if i'm comfortable i there there are certain things that i don't worry about i don't worry about it being a super steel if my hand is comfortable if i can control the knife the knife is good and balanced and this one is i'm okay i i say this over and over and over and over if you got a sharp knife you're in the fight Vic's going to make the damn thing sharp. Alex is going to design the thing where it's comfortable. That's why I keep telling y'all this. And Alex does it consistently. It's not like, oh, well, he's got a couple that I like. Alex has, I, I put my hands on just about every single knife design he's got. I know I have with every work tough gear he's got. I know I have. And so I use that experience. And again, Alex uses the experience as a knife user. That's the other thing that might, and you know the man uses a knife. When you pick one of his designs up, you go, in, in your head, you go, well, this dude knows what he's doing. It's exactly what you say. Why? They're, they're always spot on, right? Now, I said it at, at the onset that I prefer a saber grind, and I do. That's why I just didn't want to do a versus, because no matter how hard I try to be unbiased. And I know people get on here and talk about how unbiased they are, and I'm jealous, because I'm not. If I like something, I like something. I mean, I, I, I'm human. So I didn't, want it, I didn't want this video to drift towards what I like, right? So I like the Sabre grind better. Now, that doesn't mean I don't like the Scandi grind, right? I'm just more comfortable with that Sabre grind. And then you throw in the work tough gear factor. It's gonna be sharp. It's gonna have a 90 degree spine. It's gonna be made right. So not only do you have a design that works, you got one that's made right. Vic Lynn, I don't know that there's anybody in this industry who is who is as consistently sharp with their knives, who is consistently spot on with their heat treat, and who does the nuances well. So you throw a designer that knows what he's doing with, an, with a maker who knows what he's doing, and you got magic, and that's what we have here. I love the Forester. I love both versions, right? And what I did, plain and simple, guys, if, if, if I cut the ratchet strap four times with one, I cut it with the other. And you guys decide. The other side is you know what grinds you like and you don't like. Many of you have a high-level skill set and a high knife acumen. You know, that's why I don't get on here and get all damn preachy. I'm not preaching to the choir, pun intended. You guys know what you like. I just wanted to give you a good view at it, let it work, let it rock. They both held up well. I didn't get any chipping, any rolling, anything like that. The guy knows his shit. Both of them do. Guys, we're at a point in the video. Let me let me just kind of step away here and just say this. There was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. The stats are everywhere. We talk about that a lot because it's the truth. The real numbers between 15 and 29. That's why here on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. Vets, we love you. You have a place here, man. That's all in this world that means. Guys, personally, I back the blue. 
I have since I had the inception of this channel. I've told you my reasons for it many times. I'm not going to argue with anybody about it. That doesn't do any good. We don't do politics, religion, or her on here. Because I'm not changing your mind and you're not changing mine, I promise you. So it's just easier to say, listen, let's agree to disagree and move forward. How do you do it, Scab? Well, I don't break the damn law. That, that's my little contribution. And and I, everybody always says, back to blue till it happens to you. Well, it's happened to me more than it'll happen to you. I have my reasons. And finally, finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. And that's important. We didn't do a tip test as far as strength. We did do a tip sharpness test. I felt like, guys, that it was important to just go head to head and let you guys make make up your minds eric hussein shout out to eric hussein if you're not following him you should be if you're not subscribed to e you should be and i'm gonna tag him uh in the description so if you're not he's one of the best cutters on youtube has said many many times there's no way to do the do a perfect comparison you're not going to hold the knife right the same way. You're not going to swing the same way. You're not going to cut the same And he's right. To a large extent, he's very right. It's rare that you get two knives that are identical except the grind. So we've got a unique opportunity here. And I hope I've showed you enough that you can kind of make, make up your own mind. And again, again, I will come back with one of the Foresters and do a hard use review we'll we'll throw it at the stump we'll stab some tires y'all know what we'll do and we'll strike a ferrocinium rod work tough gear for anybody before they ask and I'm, I'm dead serious does some of the best 90 degree spines in the business they just do mr vick is a detail guy you can tell that you can you can tell it by each and every damn knife he makes now they have done a better job this year a good job this year and this was vick's goal of getting more knives in people's hands so when they do the drops and i'll try to ask alex to post on here when the drop for the forester is i know he's got the voyager coming up um april 17th but i'll see if these drop drop first and get you a date if you miss a drop on work tough gears website guys they've been posting them on knife center and dlt trading so there's a couple other options out there for you to try well i hope i've done enough to show you guys this was a joy and i love it alex you're one hell of a knife designer vic you're one hell of a knife maker and i'm well i'm scab you're not i'm gone son <laughs>